Hi all and welcome to today at 3am. In this video I'll be looking back at some of my older tutorials showing a very quick and easy technique to add sketch or paint effects to your photos. This time I'll go into a little more detail and I'll use spoken word instructions throughout the process. I'll be running through two examples to show how the same technique can be used to achieve different results. Each example will be time stamped in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. In this first example, I'll be sharing a technique that I use to add a sketch or charcoal effect to a portrait. So the first thing we need to do is to pull in our portrait. So we go to File and Place, and we bring in our portrait on our canvas. The first thing I tend to do to keep a backup is press Ctrl or Command and J to duplicate that layer. I'll then right click on that layer and I'll rasterize to turn it into a pixel layer. On that pixel layer, I'm going to be adding a black and white adjustment layer. And I'm going to pull it down and clip it onto that layer itself. And then it's just a matter of adjusting the tones to suit. Once you're happy with the adjustments, right click on that layer and we're going to merge visible to bring it all down into a, a single pixel layer. With that single pixel layer selected, I'm going to press Ctrl or Command and I to invert that layer and I'm going to change the blend mode to Color Dodge. With that same layer selected, I'm going to come down to the bottom of the layers palette and I'm going to add a live filter and I'm going to add a Gaussian blur. I'm going to preserve alpha by checking the checkbox and I'm going to bring the value up to around about 5%. And as you can see, we already have the makings of a charcoal or a pencil effect. With the image layer itself selected, I'm now going to add another adjustment layer. This time I'm going to add a levels. And this is where we start bringing a little more detail back into the picture. And we just simply adjust our blacks, whites and gamma to suit. There's no set percentages or levels, it's all down to personal preferences. Once you're happy with the adjustments, I then right click and again I'll merge visible to bring everything into a single pixel layer. With that single pixel layer selected, I'll then go into Affinity Photos Tone Mapping Persona. There's a variety of different choices here that will apply different effects. What I tend to do when using the charcoal or a pencil effect is I normally use the detailed option. Once you're happy with your adjustments, simply press apply. Now before I go any further, I'm going to add one more layer. I'm going to go to layer and I'm going to add a fill layer. And I'm going to keep it white and I'm going to pull it behind our pixel layer. I'll once again select our pixel layer and I'm going to come down to the bottom of the layers palette and I'm going to add a mask. With the mask selected, I'm going to press Ctrl or Command and I and I'm going to invert that mask. I'll then come across and select our brush tool. I'm going to press D to default our colors on the color palette. And I'm going to make sure white is selected because we're going to be painting on a black mask. So if I press X, that'll change the color palette to white. The brush tool selected, brushes, I'm going to use a basic, very soft, large brush. With the brush tool selected, I'm going to start painting back in the detail. I 
I'm not going to go all the way to the edges because I want it to have that sketch or charcoal effect on canvas. And we're, we're kind of getting there. And there's one more thing I want to do to finish the piece and I'm going to bring in the canvas texture. So I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go to place. Bring in my canvas texture. Place it on the canvas. I'm going to change the blend mode to multiply. And I'm going to reduce the opacity to around about 40 percent and there we have our pencil or charcoal effect on canvas For the second example, I'll be using a very similar technique to apply a watercolour effect to a photo. So the first thing we need to do is go to File and Place. And we'll select our image, place it on the canvas. To make the canvas size match the image, we simply go to Document and Clip Canvas. As before, to keep a backup, it Control or Command and J to duplicate that layer. I'll then right click on that layer and I'll rasterize. This time we won't be applying the black and white adjustment layer because we want the image to remain in color. So with the pixel layer selected, I'm going to press Control or Command and I and I'm going to invert that layer and I'm going to change the blend mode to color dodge as we did with a sketch effect. With the layer selected, I'm now going to come down to the bottom of the layers palette and I'm going to select our life filter and I'm going to add a Gaussian blur. As before, I'm going to preserve alpha, but this time I'm going to bring the levels up to around about 90%. And as previously, we're going to add an adjustment layer and we're just going to add levels. Simply adjust your blacks, whites and gammas to suit. Once you're happy with the adjustments, we we'll simply right click on the top layer and we're going to merge visible to bring it all down into a single pixel layer. With that single pixel layer selected, I'm going to come down to the bottom of the layers palette and I'm going to add a mask. And as before, with a mask selected, I'm going to press Ctrl or Command and I and I'm going to invert the mask. And again, as before, I'm going to add another layer, a new fill layer. And I'm going to keep it white and I'm going to pull it behind the pixel layer. With the mask selected, I'm going to come across to our brush tool. Brushes, again, I'm just going to use a basic, very soft, large brush. I'm going to make sure we're using white to paint onto a black canvas. And as previously, I'm going to come back onto the canvas and start painting back in the detail. As before, I'm not going to go all the way to the edges because I want it to have that painted on canvas effect. And 
And one final thing to bring in our canvas texture, we go to File, Place, bring in our texture, place it on the canvas, size to suit, change the blend mode to multiply, and reduce the opacity to around about 40% again. And there we have our paint on paper or canvas effect. So I hope you got something out of this video and you found it useful. Thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you next time.